our finding was that uh, the red Bernard was actually strangled. There was some mark on the neck, uh, which was caused by a rope. Uh, he had uh, evidence of someone who had lacked uh, air, and uh, which led to his death. We also saw some injuries on the chest. There were rib fractures on the right side, uh, from the 7th, 8th and 9th uh, rib on the right side. The main thing was uh, that he was uh, actually strangled to death and probably thrown to the river. Uh, the other organs were normal. So uh, what happened, uh, he was decomposed. And uh, when a body decomposed, there are some changes which might, might be misconstrued as injuries. So when you look at the eyes, they look collapsed just because of decomposition. But uh, the other injuries that we saw was the head, because we saw a lot of bruising also on the, on the, on the scalp, on the left side. Yeah. Um, we, usually we assign a sign of struggle when you see what's called defense injuries. We, these are injuries uh, along the, the arms, but we didn't see any of it. So our question is uh, whether he was subdued to a level that he was unable to, to fight back. We've taken samples actually. What we've done, we've taken samples for toxicology, because uh, being that uh, we saw that he, he didn't uh, resist so much, we want to see whether there was something he was given prior to uh, the murder. So the samples we've taken, we've also taken samples of DNA, which will help us also have a scientific way of identifying him. Because uh, you see, when people are, when you're decomposed, uh, uh, though uh, we can say that he's the one, we need also confirmation.